chakras. Welcome. This is the energy vibration reading for the for the Capricorn Sun Moon and Rising sign. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Um, this is the month of December 2017, and the month is the month of an air element. I want to say thank you to each and every person out there who has been subscribing to my channel. New subscribers, thank you so much for the wonderful support and the opportunity. Um, of you being here and helping out um, to make this channel um, you know a success and it's not only a success but it's um, to get this channel to reach um, more people um, this is um, the month of um, the air energy it's the month of new beginnings um, new beginnings and positive situation will be coming in um, for a lot of people and this is good Happy birthday to all you Capricorns out there. This is wonderful. It's a wonderful time because you are now finally going to begin with the year 2017 for you Capricorn. So um, thanks for supporting my channel. Please like and share these videos. Listen to your sun, moon and rising sign. The energy vibration of the month is also up because I go back to do those. I would just never had any time. Still don't have any time, but I have to really make the time to do these um, videos so I want to say to each and every one this month is going to be a month of new beginnings please remember to even donate a dollar because you know if 10 person donate a dollar that is ten dollars and it can help somebody to eat a meal tomorrow and this is going to be wonderful so for each and every person who are here at this moment trying to do something um, to help the poor and or the less unfortunately I'm thanking you so much because you will receive whatever you give out please look in your closet whatever you don't need please give it to the poor because it's going to come tenfold back okay um, I'm kind of annoyed <laughs> I've changed up the way of my reading and I have done a whole section of this and thought the video was running and it wasn't running so here maybe that message should not go out okay um the zodiac energy um, begins with fire and um, ends with the hurt sign and this is going to be good there are four weeks in in um, this month which is very good very positive and um, you have for um, your support the director of energy is coming in I love this card deck it is the snowland deck and the director of energy is coming in to help you um, to, uh, Capricorn with your um, materialistic uh, um, um, so, so you know like whatever you want your wishes for Christmas and that sort of a thing um, it is going to be helping you out we also have the angels Archangel Raphael coming in to help you guys out to heal your materialistic um, um, whatever you need and to heal yourself if you are having um, situations so it says you are you know you need help in whatever way um, he's here to help you heal also your body mind and soul if you have any sickness the angel to call upon is Archangel Raphael okay um, the base of your reading because um, we have layered readings and the base of your reading we are dealing with and what you're having is that your materialistic and spiritual need will be blessed your materialistic and spiritual needs will be blessed so this is going to be good this is going to be positive um, there you are looking out and asking and calling upon the angels the next um, message is the second layer um, which is the snowland deck and you have the energy of the five of uh, um, um, uh, emotion and this is a loss you're feeling a loss you're feeling um, you missed uh, people it's Christmas you're alone this is for the women the independent women who do not have a relationship and you know um, maybe you're somewhere missing your family or missing someone 
maybe you have just gotten divorced and you're missing your partner you're remem remembering um, about other Christmases and that sort of a thing so you know a lot of stuff could be happening for you and you're feeling sadness but it's not going to be for long the energy of the unicorns are here and they're saying you know I'm close to you whatever it is call upon the angels of comfort because we have comfort in angels we have angels just about for all the things that you need and call upon your angels and guides and the unicorn to come in and you know kind of support you and help you throughout this time because you are feeling as if you know things are at array with you and you're not understanding what is going on and ask them to stay with you because you're an earth sign so um, earth sign people always connect with the unicorn and this is very good okay so this is wonderful let's go forward and um, see what is happening because there is a lot of changes that is coming up new beginnings are happening for you and we are going to um, I'm gonna bring the camera down because I am um, change up the readings and uh, we are going to go forward with that okay I'm hoping that you're all seeing this properly okay so we're going to look at the cards and see what's in the cards for you guys okay so in the first week there is a sense of sadness and suffering and silence okay 
So what is that saying is that you're, because of the sadness that you have with this, that you're missing someone, you are suffering in silence. And what is happening is that it's going to change in this week. And this is the first week, which is an emotional week um, because it's a week of water. And there is going to be a transformation of debt and transformation coming up in this week, which is going to be very good for you because what is happening is that the suffering and silence is going to finally end and something wonderful and something good is going to come from the universe. It's as if the guides and angels and your, your spiritual beams are going to come in and bring something wonderful in your life and very um, something that is um, very, very wonderful because it's as if the energy of the lily is the universal angels and guides says, you know, um, it's like a healing that is going to come in of your emotions because you're losing and you feel you felt um, alone and suffering in silence is when someone is going through so many turmoil that is happening around them on the outside and they uh, on the inside is feeling as you know they're suffering because they are not understanding why certain aspect it's as if for people who are hate is just coming at them for no reasons that they're trying to do something good people are disliking them because of what they've made from the for themselves and that sort of a thing and you can't understand why is it that you're reaching out and you're trying to do things and trying to do good for other people but yet still you know they are being so this uh, contented with that and they will prefer to beat you down than to pull you up and you yourself is going to you're going to pull up yourself and release yourself from the suffering which is in the reverse which is good so there is a transformation and a healing that is coming in and at the end of the day um you're going to feel good at the f the end of the first week because um the, the the suffering that you have been going through is going to end and something good is going to come out of it okay in the second week this is going to be good because what is happening is that you're going to be connecting to someone who is spiritual um it's as if you have known this person from lifetime and lifetime and they came back in this lifetime to connect with you and as you see the two heads there together which is a powerful love this is a powerful strong love but spiritual connection that wherever this person is on this planet and wherever you are on this planet they are feeling what you're feeling and you are both healing yourselves together even if you're not in the same place where each other are at and they're going to be sending you a lot of messages and letting you know um, these messages can be coming in through the psychic or through um, text email but more text messages uh, you know videos and that sort of a thing video messages and that sort of a thing because most um, people are doing video messages because it's Christmas and that sort of a thing and this is going to be happening and this you know it's going to be so it says um, either you and that person is a crystal child um, or um, an indigo child or a star seed okay but this connection is a very very strong this is not a soul connection it's really a spiritual connection it's something that you both can protect each other even though you're not on the same place on this planet maybe you live in um different continents but still that connection because there's a lot of messages that you'll be having back and forth a lot of messages that this person will be texting you um writing you mails connecting with you and even in the night dreams a lot of you will be um doing uh, astro travel and connecting with this other person in the spiritual realm when you're sleeping and it's going to happen to the star seed people the indigo people and the um, star the star seed the indigo and um, the crystal kids okay so um, you're going to realize that you're going to be seeing 
this person in your dream and you're going to be waking up and realizing that you have connected with this person in your dream sometimes you can just lay in your bed and there is a connection just by thinking of this person there is a connection and you both are connecting um on a, a psychic level and this is good a lot of people are going to realize that their telepathic um gifts are coming out in this um second week which is very good because it's as if the spiritual person is going to wake you up. It doesn't say that it's someone who's in a church or anything. It says that it's someone um, that you hold a very spiritual and strong bond with that is going to come in in the second week. So there is healing. And as you can see, this, there is healing that is happening in this week. Third week, another wonderful, wonderful week. Whatever that has been happened, whatever that has transpired, you have won this um it's a victory and a success you have used the sword in a good way to heal whatever that has been happening and you have a very very strong foundation so it's as if whatever the suffering was that you have been going through you have used the sword and the sword can be you have used words or you have um um, being active uh, to heal whatsoever that was happening and uh, so you are victorious because you use the sword in the good way to heal whatsoever is happening and the this card is saying that you have a strong foundation so whatever people were trying to do against you or whatever that was happening against you you're realizing that by using the swords by using the intellectual the intelligent the intelligency of who you are you use the sword and you have a strong position there is a transformation that is going to happen because you decided not to stand back but use the sword in a good way and you are going to be victorious in whatever it is because you have a strong foundation and with a strong foundation it's going to yield something that is going to change a lot of things so the you know this is the beginning of your birthday so this is good because um what your angels and guides did was to help you and show you how to use the the swords uh, um to heal whatever that has been going on okay so this is good you have triumphant and success in the third week and that is the week when your birthday actually start beginning so before and this is going to affect most of the people um who whose birthday fall in December okay the fourth week is destiny this is wonderful and um, this destiny is powerful because it is bringing you a lot of luck in the fourth week this destiny is so powerful this is going to bring up a lot of luck for you in the second week and it's going to be luck with an organization or groups of people and these uh, groups of people could be abroad okay but it all could also be people who are um, in a different city or a different state from where you are but whatever it is there is luck coming in for you and this is a lot of luck because it is so it says you are at the place where you're destined to be and uh, or it can be for some people who are going to be changing work changing career changing people and you're connected to the right people and you're where you're supposed to be and this is going to be good because the energy of this ship is saying that whatever the journey that you were on you have finally come and there is uh, going to be a new beginning for you guys so this is good because um uh, this is the sixth reading I'm doing and um, these these three cards that came up um, the two of cups uh, and the swords of victory and success and destiny is good because it will be um, in business whatever whatever situation that was going on you have used your intelligency um, to clear whatever negativity that was playing out around you and this is good so you're ending the month of December 
on a very very good note whatsoever is happening money is going to be coming at you um a lot of money will be coming at some of you in the last week this money is going to come to you from a house um um from an organization and it can be that some of you are selling your house in the last week and your your house will be sold um which this is going to be extremely good because you're seeing that wonderful new possibilities are coming out so if you look at this month it's the first week is you know a week of sadness because maybe there was someone that you're missing there's something that you feel a loss at maybe some people will you know are sitting in a job for a very long time and you were suffering in silence and you decided to move out to something else which there's an opening of new beginnings so um, if you're looking for work it's going to be wonderful because a new a lot of new opportunities but um, the connection of the spirit world in the second week is a very important one because a lot of people are going to be um, going through and um, doing um, connecting with your spiritual guides in the second week third week is going to be wonderful because you're using the sword of truth and by using the sword of truth you're going to be standing your ground there's going to be a lot of invitation a lot of um, people because it's the week of Christmas the third week so this is good fourth week is going to be wonderful because you're destined to be where you are you're connected with the right people um, your house is where um, a lot of people are going to be ending up in new houses that sort of a thing new jobs and it's going to be with the right people whoever they are let's look at your love section to see what is happening for the capricorns in the first week you have the energy of the stars so this is good because remember you were going through sadness and that sort of a thing and whatever is happening to you good situations are going to be coming up for you so this is wonderful whatever that has been playing out in your life um, in the love arena um, it's going to be good there's an healing that is going to be coming in so this is going to be extremely wonderful and extremely positive in the second week you have the energy of the sword and this is good another time another good victory another success that is coming in also in your love um, arena because you're going to just speak the truth you are going to speak it with love um, and by connecting with this um, person who is spiritual um, by speaking the truth uh, this is going to open up um, new possibilities for you because this is good especially in love this person your partner is going to love you for who you are because you just speak things as it is and this is good let's look at your third week and see what is happening in third week you have the six of pentacles i love this energy when it comes up in a love reading because what it is saying is that whatever um your position your disposition is you speak up you have a stronger there's a lot of invitation a lot of parties that is going to happen a lot of invitation to parties um this is going to be good your financial whatever you need um for christmas is going to be there six of pentacles is that you're going to be getting gifts exchanging gifts and this is going to be wonderful it's going to be very very positive and you're going to be happy at Christmas because whatever you need is just going to come to you magically let's look and see what is happening in the fourth week for the Capricorns in their love arena there is conflicts um, there is conflicts that is coming up and there's conflicts that is coming up it can be um, with someone who is um, who is um, living at a far distance okay so this conflict could be that you um, wanted to visit this person and it didn't happen and um, you know maybe they're trying to really um, reach out to you they couldn't um, find you or um, you know whatever that was happening there was misunderstanding so 
whatever the misunderstanding was, whatever the conflicts was, um, it's going to um, heal because this conflicts could be um, about um, money. Because I'm seeing here the house, money, and the conflicts, and it's um, have to do with someone or something who is far away from you. So th there is a situation that is happening, and there is conflicts um, with your relationship. And this has to do with someone um, abroad or a house or something. So go back and look. It could be, an, um, as I said, that someone has sold a house, but there is a, um, a conflict about this house or whatever it is. And um, anyway, money is going to come because you have the six of pentacles in the Christmas week. So you're going to be exchanging gifts with other people and whatever is happening, you have two, four, six and one, seven of pentacles. And the energy of the seven of pentacles is that as, as if there's a conflict in a house um, with your partner, it could be with your partner in a house, or maybe you're living with other people in a house. You're trying to build on something, but there seems to be an array of something. So don't worry about what is happening in the last week because it's going to balance out. And I'm, I'm thinking about it. I'm looking at it. It's, it's not because uh, it's not as if you don't have the money the money is going to come the money is going to be there so wh whatever is happening and it's it's you know whatever is happening um don't worry about it because your financial needs will be met okay because this is actually good because you have the energy of the star and the energy of the swords in a relationship is that you're speaking the truth and somebody is really, someone is really loving you for who you are, speaking the truth about whatever is happening. Christmas week, you're going to receive gifts, whatever that you need. But as we come to the fourth week, there is a misunderstanding. There is going to be a misunderstanding that is going to happen in, in some people relationship. Maybe this can happen in the first week. And some people will have the energy of the star, which is the connecting of two people together in the last week. So it doesn't really have to go in the form that it is here. What is happening is that positive uh, situations are coming out. And whatever the situation is in the house, it could be that you have used up all your resources for Christmas and that sort of a thing. But yet still, you will have enough for January because you're ending the month um, of December with that. But whatever the situation is that it has to do with our house, don't worry about it because it's going to be the energy of the unicorn is here. And it's say, you know, all you have to do is remember because the situation is playing out at the end of the month. So remember, whatever you have at Christmas, don't use up everything. Make sure that there is extra that you don't come in the financial problem in January. Okay. So, cause that's what it's really saying right here because you have the seven of pentacles. So you have enough, but you really need to make sure that uh, you don't use up all. And I guess this is what this reading is saying, you know, be aware of what you do in December with your financial situation, because, the, um, you need to remember that you have to deal with it in January. Okay. You will have enough. It's not as if, because it's not the five of pentacles, it is the seven of pentacles. So, um, don't worry about it. It's going to be okay. So let's look at the zodiac energies and see what is going to happen and what is the effect that is the sun people are going to have. So if you were born at between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m., let's see what is going to be happening, what's coming up to help you. You have the lucky planet of Jupiter. Isn't this a wonderful, you Capricorns? You sun Pat the Capricorns have the planet of Jupiter that is going to come in. And help you with your luck because there is a star it is the first week you got the lily on the star and you have Jupiter so in the first week some luck is going to come in and it's going to be good let's see what other energies are here you have two two planets because you have the energy of uh, 
Oh, Uranus. Oh my God. Are you Capricorns ready for Uranus coming in in the two first in the second week? Wow. Okay, so a lot of you Sun Capricorns, Uranus is just helping to move you along. Uranus is, is as if, because the spirit guide or the spirit person is going to come in to help you. So it's as if they're going to be removing the veil of illusion and opening you up to higher possibilities and um, helping you to heal certain aspects of yourself and to move um, certain things out of your life. So this is going to be good. Um, let's look at the moon people. These are the people who were born between the hours of 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. And you have the scorpions. Wow. Okay. The Capricorn and the scorpions. The scorpions are coming in to show you something. The scorpions want you to know something. The scorpion is telling you something in Christmas. The scorpions are here awakening you and releasing and giving you information about something in the week of Christmas. So this is going to be something. You guys, you this is going to be powerful for you Capricorns, um, you moon Capricorns. Let's see. Who else? Oh Lord, Saturnus. Yes, it is. Saturn is coming back. Um, Saturn is coming back in your zodiac in your zodiac chart. Saturn is coming back. So, you know, this is perfect because the planet, your ruling planet, Saturn is coming in. There's going to be a retrograde with Mercury on the beginning of december but your ruling planet for capricorns is coming in saturn is coming in so oh yay this is what is happening for you in the last week it's destiny it's destiny whatever is happening is destiny so you know it's so it's just the wheel of fortune it's luck it's good luck coming in but yet still with that good luck that is coming in there's going to be a conflict and saturn is here to remove whatever that conflict is and to heal your materialistic needs is to make sure that the flow of money is coming in your life so this is going to be wonderful in whatever way you look at it this is going to be positive this is going to be good this because the materialistic and your spirit world is going to be in balance so this is good because it's the basis of your card where the suffering is is over you're going to be connecting with someone on a spiritual level and uh, you have the the triumph and success and that was your destiny and with that it's going to bring in materialistic and spiritual prosperity so here we are saturn is moving away this conflict out of your life and that that is why the seven of pentacles is there because um let's say you were at a job that you're changing saturn make sure that the beginning of december it happens so you know maybe you are going to be in a time when you don't have a job but yet still your financial needs are going to be provided so whatever is happening this is going to be good because it's going to be a new beginning because you are starting your year 2017 and actually um by starting your year 2017 you're seeing this happening and this is going to be extremely positive so this i am saying for you that it's going to be very good it's going to be positive it's going to be a time when um special transition is going to be happening in your life and this is going to be good so here I am I'm coming back and uh, this was your December reading I want to say to each and every person remember that love is the only thing that is real I can understand the inner suffering I really do understand when people are you know the inner suffering is there and it's coming up and you're feeling as if your whole world you're dying from inside but maybe something that emotional um, needs to die so that something better will come up which the lily brings that good thing up for you and this is going to be good sorry love relationships are going to be good because you you know you're starting off uh, the, with the energy of the star and the energy of the ace of one so you know you are going to be just speaking the truth and saying 
how it is and this is going to bring you in you know gifts whatever you need for your Christmas holidays whatever you need financially it's going to come to you so not to worry about this everything is going to work out in a very positive way you are going to have a wonderful new beginning for your new year of 2017 please remember to share these videos listen to your sun moon and rising the general energies are back because it's the month of december and i had to do the general energies so go and listen to the general energies so you can receive more information and this is wonderful this is a positive positive um and from the year 2017 for you guys and i want to say namaste until next time have a wonderful christmas merry christmas happy new year and we will speak next year